I arrived to work an hour and a half earlier than I need to be here simply because I was supposed to be going out this evening and so got a lift and when I got into work I saw that my colleague had cancelled. <sighs> if only I'd left the house 20 minutes later. They thought that they were getting in in the right time so I'm here barely caffeinated and tired. Hi everyone my name is Charlie and today is the beginning of another reading vlog. <sighs> One moment please I think the heater is too loud. So it's Monday <laughs> I've now switched the heater off just so, just in the hopes that you'll be able to hear me. I did not finish reading A View of the Harbour by Elizabeth Taylor yesterday. I have 103 pages left. Oh my goodness. There is a character in this book who is a bed-bound woman who is trying to control every aspect of her daughter's life. And because she thinks that her daughter might be about to enter into some sort of relationship with a man, she has kicked him out of the house and she's doing everything within her power to be to hold control over her daughter and oh she irks me unfortunately I, we all know people who are like this character I think that we see this character represented a lot in fiction because we know that it's there there is a certain type of parent that just refuses to allow their child any sort of freedom uh, and it's a strange one to see represented in fiction having seen it so much throughout my life be that with relatives or be that with friends or acquaintances and I think that Elizabeth Taylor has captured this type of character incredibly well. I feel like we're heading towards a bit of a tumultuous climax, simply because of the weather. Everything's become really stormy in the last chapter, dark and stormy. It's supposed to be spring as well. Elizabeth Taylor wrote a fantastic paragraph transitioning into spring and why it was different in Newbie. I'm really enjoying my time with this book, as I knew that I would, as I hoped that I would really. We've only had one dud when it's come to this author, and that was Blaming, which I read last month. I didn't do any writing yesterday, but I did come up with a few scenes that I think I might add to the book when I'm editing it. There's one scene in particular which I've known that I've wanted to change all along. Sometimes my characters behave in ways that are unexpected, and I begin to look into, well, why is this person behaving this way? When I figured it out, it meant that I had to change this scene. And then there's just a few more bits and pieces that I want to put in there. More clues, I think. I don't know whether I need any more interviews. I do need a few more people to read this before I make huge edits as well, because I think that the, I think that I'm at a point where I would appreciate someone else's feedback. My mother was supposed to be reading it this weekend, but my grandmother came out of hospital on Friday and went back to the retirement slash nursing home that she's currently in so uh, there was a lot of going back and forth there and making sure she was okay <sighs> anyway now that i'm here an hour early i'm going to get some coffee and practice some italian i mean I'll, I'll probably be able to finish a view of the harbour then won't i this evening and my little dog will probably be happy to have some company because she's been left on her own a lot longer than usual today. We also had the storm blow down a fence in the back and a neighbour's fence, meaning that the aggressive dog that attacked my dog and my sister's dog a fortnight ago was in our back garden. And all, all we've thought about since is, it's a good job our dogs weren't out or my brother's dogs that we're looking after because he's currently away aren't out. Oof. <sighs> All right then. I'll silly when I silly. <laughs>
jam sandwich days. Similar to my lackadaisical days, they are days where I might stick to wearing comfortable clothes and reading. They're also mildly full of nostalgia and I end up reading books from a specific era, watching television from 30 to 40 years ago and just immersing myself in a more peaceful nostalgic time and it's a holding of reverence for things. The phrase comes from the fact that if it weren't so wet and stormy out there I would be wandering down the towpath and there's many an occasion when I will do that and I end up getting this craving for a jam sandwich because I am reminded of my childhood and for whatever reason when I think of childhood I think of jam sandwiches and as somebody who's been off sugar for a few years I do tend to stick to sugar-free jam but yeah it's about the days that are about plain foods and I do wonder whether they do fit into the same bracket of my lackadaisical days uh, because oftentimes I find on the days when I'm not necessarily able to achieve as much as I'd hoped that sticking to those shows that I know that I like and that I know what's going to happen and reading books from that era, it just leaves me feeling more content, I suppose, is the way to say it. I'm also beginning to recognise that I don't necessarily know whether it's an age thing. I only work three days a week and I'm realising that it seems as though if I were to work more I might not necessarily be able to contend with it, uh, which is weird. I, I mean this in terms of a physical slash migraine way at the moment because this morning in particular I was unable to awaken due to some bone pain and this migraine type feeling that would not abate and it does leave me feeling very slowed down for the rest of the day which does leave me as I say about my lackadaisical days these new jam sandwich days of wanting to hunker down in the corner and read or watch television that I already know. This could actually come from the fact that yesterday despite the fact it was windy and stormy and had rained all day, when that abated a little, I chose to take Sally off to Macclesfield Forest. Mine was the only car there, and I didn't see anybody else on the relatively short walk that I did, because by the time I'd got to the bottom of another hill, my feet were soaked through because it had been so wet, and it started absolutely bucketing down with rain, so there wasn't really much chance of getting Sally to walk any further. She was determined to head back to the car. And maybe it had been silly of me to try and get a walk in in such bad weather. But I also felt like it's best to take the chance when I can to get out for a walk with Sal than not. But I also finished reading Mystic Orchards by Jonathan Coven and A View of the Harbour by Elizabeth Taylor yesterday both of which I intend to do reviews of, but I have to say, in terms of the Elizabeth Taylor, I have got another favourite Elizabeth Taylor, which means that we really only have one of her books which I haven't liked, and that was Blaming. When I think about this some more, it might determine where I would place it on my rankings. I really enjoyed this tale of this town, and it followed the inhabitants of this place for a year in their lives as this artist called Bertram went. Bertram's visit is what frames the narrative, is him arriving and saying he's going to paint this view of the harbour and have it hung in the local pub. Then we go into the lives of the people who live in this town, one of whom is Beth, who I'm pretty sure was Elizabeth Taylor inserting herself into the story because Beth is a writer and when she finishes writing her novel, the novel ends. That's not a spoiler, I'm not giving any details about the novel, but I do think that it gave the book an almost meta-narrative then, because you got to see Elizabeth Taylor almost inserting herself into the novel, but sometimes events that were happening within that novel would leak into the book, 
and there was also this foreshadowing and this dramatic irony because there were a few poorly characters and the author, both Elizabeth Taylor and Beth within the book, kept hinting towards a character dying and because you've got a few ill characters as a reader I kept wondering just who this was going to turn out to be because she tells you there's going to be a death but it's wondering about when. And then you have an affair which is between Beth's husband and her next door neighbour who she also happened to go to school with. I mentioned this because this morning I started reading A Change of Climate by Hilary Mantel and this begins with a man being buried and both his wife and his mistress are at the funeral but it seems like everybody knew he was having this affair, it was just commonly accepted. Then we have pulled out from that and we are getting to see the childhood of one of the characters, Ralph. I'm only 44 pages into this. I am being reminded of what it is about Hilary Mantel's prose that I like. She is able to capture character incredibly well and on the back it says that it's going to be a book in which they share the memories of the tragedies they witnessed as missionaries in South Africa. We have yet to reach that point. We're currently only exploring their childhoods, but there's just been a great section about Ralph and him finding fossils as a child. And this is one of those things. It, this book is 30 years old now, and it certainly seems stylistic of that time, but I very much enjoy it and I appreciate Mantel's humour which can be a bit grim at times but I like the way that she looks at the world. That's a book that I'm planning on just sitting down with this afternoon and reading because I definitely won't be going out today. On the car front I have been looking at a few cars. There is one that I like the look of which is 10 miles away uh, but I'm currently waiting to see whether a friend of my dad's will be getting rid of their car next week and also waiting for some news at work and that sort of thing. So I'm holding off because there are a lot of cars around and I have until the 30th because I refuse to tax my car again. I will just sawn it, put it on the drive and figure something out after that. I suppose I could talk about my writing. I might be at the point for beta readers which is also interesting because I have recently been debating setting myself up as a beta reader and charging for that because it's something that I've done for years for fellow writers and it's taken up a lot of time and I don't mind doing it and I quite enjoy it so I think that if there's anybody who'd be willing to pay for that service maybe just try as you know we try and make some money over here. Speaking of which, thank you to the people who have sent me money because of the car debacle or bought books because of that. It is a great help and it's very much appreciated. We know that it's very difficult to get me to express gratitude for I am a northerner with no soul, but um, thank you. I'll probably, if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you on Friday. <laughs>
keeping my coat on for a minute because it's a little bit chilly out there. Well, in here. It's Friday and I've just arrived to work. <laughs> Some driver decided to be stupid and we haven't talked about people on the road in a while so let's just have this mild little rent. I am turning left into the street to get to the car park that's behind my shop and you know there's another car pulling out you can only get one car down this road so I have to wait right fine for most people. There's a car speeding behind me who wasn't behind me when I started coming down this road, who decides he's just going to blare on his horn as he careers past me to head on up the road. Look, this isn't what you're supposed to do, Chuck. Especially considering there's a driver in front of me who's trying to pull out into the road. Idiot. Fool. Nincompoop. These are words in which I'm attributing to this driver who was in the 2023 red Toyota. I go income poop after we spoke on Wednesday what did we get up to well I finished reading a change of climate by Hilary Mantel yesterday and I don't know where my thoughts lie on this one there was something compelling within the pages that had me continuing to read on I did prefer the chapters that were set in Norfolk Hilary Mantel definitely had something to say I'm just not sure what that was there was this a whole thing of, I'm about to call him Ralph, and I don't even know if his name was Ralph, but for the purposes of this story, <laughs> his name is Ralph, and his wife is Anna. And when I first spoke to you, I was only 40 pages in, and they hadn't yet gone to Africa. That came about because Ralph had basically been forced into it by his father, who was a Christian man, and didn't accept his son's want to go and do geology, and forced him to go to Africa. The time in which this is set, we are getting to see apartheid and what the white missionaries thought about that. And there is a little bit of casual racism within these pages. But I'm still not sure what Mantel's aim was with this. And the way that the black characters were represented on the page made me feel somewhat uncomfortable. And I don't know whether this was Mantel's intention with the characters to show that these white people were going over and trying to get people to behave with Western morals and Western ideologies. And then when she showed what was going on in Norfolk with the people who were struggling over here, I don't know whether she was trying to say that these people could have been more focused on helping build up the communities in their own home. I'm not really sure what she was getting at with the mirroring of certain behaviours over there and here. But there were certain portrayals that left me uncomfortable, but then that could have been Mantel's intent all along to make people uncomfortable and to consider their roles within racism and the way that Christianity can end up being more harmful. However, I'm not sure about that, given that the author notably had a religious upbringing, but often talked about that as well so it's a, it's a weird one and one in which I think authorial intent plays a lot and will be going and looking for some interviews about this book. It was a book that I found I wanted to spend my time with and I didn't get much chance to actually hunker down in the corner like I wanted to on Wednesday but yesterday for any spare time I had I was sat in the corner reading this book and got through the final 200 pages yesterday and I'm glad to have done so although it was my second story of an affair within a family again and that that's something that I say about this book there is a lot of mirroring going on and a lot of behavior occurring that is seen as barbaric when it's certain characters but because of the class and status of all the characters it is viewed in a different fashion and I did like the way that Mantel did talk about class and behaviour within the text. Anyway, I did read 20 pages of The Burgess Boys by Elizabeth Strout last night. I'm trying to decide whether I want to read that or Amy and Lan or something entirely different. You all know about that when I know about it. It's Saturday and so we're just here to draw a line on the things, end the video as we do every Saturday. New shirt, well, 
is a second-hand shirt or a third-hand shirt. I have no idea who, how many owners this shirt has had before I decided to pilfer it from the charity shop. I say that, I've paid for it. We did get some big news about the charity yesterday that I cannot share, so I won't. I uh, don't know what is going on with the hair today. I don't know what happened in the end. I just decided, if this is what you're going to do, this is what you're going to do. I need to get to work. Uh, my mother has just had a phone call as I was leaving the house to inform me that my grandmother, who was recently diagnosed with dementia and had only been back in this home in which she's in for about a week, has had a fall. So that's fun. So my mother has now got to go back to the hospital. Uh, well, not back to the hospital. It's just, it feels like she's been there all year. To check on her last night, I read another 30 pages of The Burgess Boys by Elizabeth Strout. I found with this author that I almost sink into the novels and don't realise how many pages have passed or how much time has passed and I know that I could have read more had I dedicated my time last night to actually reading uh, rather than watching Modern Family or just scrolling through my phone uh, absent-mindedly as well but I've said that before there's just something that after a work day I don't necessarily have the wherewithal to read a lot so I I'm making excuses for myself here but that's what we do isn't it to qualify why we haven't actually done what we wanted to be doing but I'm still intending to finish this book tomorrow. It's one that I've been reticent to read because of knowing the ending of the story. If you have read the latest Lucy Barton book, Lucy by the Sea, then she meets the characters from the Burgess Boys and the ending is spoiled in that book. That's fine, I know what the twist is going to be, but I've also been wary to read it knowing that it's almost about this family that has kept this really dark secret and one of its main characters has had to believe something for his entire life that has been a lie. That's been a tough one but I have to say Elizabeth Strout, I just find her a fantastic writer and it's because there's so much in what isn't said as well as what she chooses to put down on the page and the reader having to look between the lines and the way that she captures the characters so well and the look at this very strained family, this sibling relationship that has dissolved. I am looking forward to seeing where it goes, even though I know how it's going to end. There's still the whole story to get through. Otherwise, in work today, finish round five, head on home, and then watch Drag Race. I've watched a few of the lip syncs from the lip sync Lala Perusa last night, and they were good. So I'm hopeful that it's going to be a good and and that's about it, really. <sighs> yeah, that's me. If you have read any of the books that I've talked about this week and would like to discuss them, then please feel free to do so in the comments. Alternatively, let's just have a chat. I hope that you've enjoyed this video because until next time, that is all.